Hello, Cyanogen Mod users. Developer JC Sullins has done it again. We are now running Jelly Bean on the HP Touchpad. And you yourself can do this right now, but this is just a preview, not yet done version. So you can download it, you can preview, you can check it out. I'll tell you how to install it and keep everything like this. Pretty cool. This might look like my old setup, but I am now running Jelly Bean. Let me show you the proof in my pudding. About my tablet. There it is. Android 4.1.1. Thank you, JC Sullins. Anyways, I've been testing this out. Uh, lots of stuff works. Most of my apps work. Uh, there's a few things that don't work. Big one, audio playback. There's no audio whatsoever at the moment. Uh, video game like hardware acceleration does not work. Can't play games. Uh, you can use the MX video player fine, so you can play videos. Uh, and you can use most of your apps. The Wi-Fi seems to be working quite well. It seems to be fairly strong as well. And you can browse the internet. Uh, so basically what I've done is I've uh, used the Acme Installer 2 method to install. And I preserved my system, uh, my apps, my setup, and everything. So it's pretty neat. I can browse the internet, go check out Roots Wiki. Just all kinds of apps work. Uh, most notably, the games won't work, but pretty much everything else works. I'll show you, you can still play a uh, video, but there won't be any audio. Here it goes. Works fine in the Animax video player. Pretty neat. Uh, YouTube playback doesn't work. Uh, you can actually load it up and look around, uh, but you can't actually run any videos. It'll just give you an error if you actually try to load up anything. There it goes. But it won't actually play for you, unfortunately. There was a problem while playing. But still, a lot of things working here. It's pretty great just to check it out. A uh, little preview edition. I've got a lot of apps installed. Uh, ES File Explorer, for instance, working fine. Lots of other apps working fine. A little eBay. And it's really, it's really quite smooth. The butter is quite apparent. You will feel the smoothness. Very soon, this is going to be working with sound, hardware acceleration. Just you wait and see. Now, you're, you're probably wondering, this is great, but how can I install this for myself? Well, you can now, thanks to developer JC Sullins. Now, this is just a preview, okay? Right here, he says, in the name, not ready yet. Now, so this is a preview. You're going to expect tons of bugs. Uh, don't expect to be upgrading, jumping over from Cyanogen Mod 9. Cyanogen Mod 9 is great. Uh, this is still in the works. It's going to be great as well, but give it some time. So here are the four files you're going to need to install this. You're going to need the official tenderloin for Jelly Bean, provided to us by the awesome developer, JC Sollins. Here is the latest gapps file for Jelly Bean. Uh, Moo Boot, and I'm using Clockwork Mod. And you're going to need to put them onto your device in the CM install folder. Next up, now, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you probably shouldn't be installing this, but you'll need to use the Acme installer. Uh, now, this is the way we can upgrade and keep our file system from Signage in Mod 7 to Signage in Mod 9. Now, this seems to work from Signage in Mod 9 to Signage in Mod 10. And why not give it a go yourself? You don't have to do it like this. Uh, you could actually completely uninstall and install it. I did that and it works fine. Do it from scratch. Uh, try it out like that. Uh, but I wanted to see how well it would cope with uh, my file system and the copious amounts of everything I have installed on my system. And it seems to be handling it really, really well. So, you know, great first impression. Thank you, JC Solens. So next up, if we're ready to install this and you want to try to upgrade and you want to keep your file system, you're going to open up a command prompt. Sorry about that. You're going to go 
CD backslash enter, CD program files enter, CD palm ink enter, directory. Uh, we just need to do that to see what's installed. Uh, anyways, uh, all this is going to be in the description. The download links for everything are going to be in the description. So just look down there. Uh, these same instructions will be there. If you have problems, you can literally just copy and paste, enter in brackets. You don't put things in brackets, obviously. And if you want to fully uninstall first, you can use this line here for the Acme uninstaller, and that will fully uninstall it. Again, this last line here, do not put that line in unless you want to remove everything. This is only in the instance that you want to remove it. But what you'll basically be doing uh, is all this, and then you'll do the Acme installer too. And you can basically just copy and paste this without that there. But this works really well. Uh, you could also just uh, remove everything and install it like that. But uh, it really does handle everything very well. And I've been just very, very impressed with my first impression here. Like even my even my like toggle widgets have remained. I can like toggle my Wi-Fi off and on, my Bluetooth. Like everything is just running quite well. As soon as we get sound in here, we get a little hardware video acceleration in there. We can play our games and do pretty much everything. Uh, but at the moment, if you're ready to move on to Jelly Bean with your HP touchpad running Cyanogen Mod 10, well, this is the time to try it out with this little preview. It's really something to see. Anyways, again, links in the description on how to do everything. If you haven't installed Cyanogen Mod 9 before or 7, this is not the place to start. This is a preview. Anyways, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more updates about this in the future. Thanks for watching.